Well guys, uh, good afternoon. Uh, we got another unit in the shop. Uh, this one, I scanned it and checked it with temperature and we found out that uh, injectors one, two are, well, one is completely closed, two is malfunctioning, and three is also mal malfunctioning. So uh, I could probably salvage the third one, but why? I'm gonna go ahead and just replace all three. I'm going to go ahead and get this valve cover gasket done and the three injectors, one, two, and three. So uh, let me go ahead and start tearing this one apart. Well, guys, uh, this is the unit in question. It's a uh, 2014 C bus. It's got a Max Force 9, 10, Max Force 9's last 10. Uh, it's one of those uh, twin turbo little deals. So let me go ahead and yank this valve cover off and start uh, pulling that high pressure rail off so I can get those to those injectors okay so uh, we're gonna start by removing that little uh, tube that goes from the air cleaner over to the air pump those brackets little crankcase breather hose and these little wiring harnesses and the vacuum hose get those out of the way so we can go ahead and start working on that valve cover we're gonna again remove all the bolts off the valve cover there's like 12 13 of them something like that and we're gonna pull that valve cover completely off to go ahead and get to the oil rail and injectors. Well guys, uh, that 8mm little bolt holding that crankcase breather is stripped out, so I'm going to have to use vice grips, something. I mean, I'm, i got to pull, extract that little bolt out and replace it with a new one. So let me go ahead and get that done. Well guys, uh, we're going to use a chisel and uh, get that little bolt out of the way. Well, guys, as you can see, the little head was all stripped. I used a chisel, caught it at an angle, and hit it and forced that little screw to loosen up. And then, of course, once I got it loose, I just kind of spun it out with my fingers. So it's out. We do have to replace this little bolt. I'm not going to stall this one back in there. It's all messed up, so we'll get a new one for this one. Let me go ahead and get that cover off. And now we got to undo these little connectors and uh, pull this valve cover gasket out of the way. There's two connectors here, two connectors back here, the six connector for the injectors, and the one for the ICP valve. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and take that 10 millimeter little socket and ratchet and get all these high pressure oil rail bolts off so we can go ahead and extract or pull this off of the engine so we can expose the injectors. Alright guys, let me go ahead and get that done. I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. Uh, I don't have the injector in stock, so I don't want to pull those out. I'm going to go ahead and cover all this up with rags just to keep debris out of it. And we're going to replace one, two, and three. So as soon as I get these, I'll go ahead and uh, put, uh, record it and uh, post a second video on this. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and stop here, guys. And uh, well, let me show let me show you guys something. Uh, 
There's a subscribe, uh, guy that watches videos. His name is Matthew. He's having a little issue with a uh, boss, and uh, it's his boost control valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of point out where that boost control valve is. So hopefully this will help him get his uh, unit back up and running. Well, guys, really quick. This is for Matt, for Matthew. Uh, this little box here. It's bolted to that little uh, horseshoe that connects both turbos together. Controls this little diaphragm that's your boost control valve it's right here it's got a connector it's got three vacuum hoses on it dude so uh, I was having an issue with one of these low boost uh, as soon as we replaced this little box I went ahead and calibrated the MA uh, the math and uh, units back up and running us so uh, I just want to show you this guy uh, I just want to show this little piece for uh, Matthew hopefully this helps you out guy and uh, oh, let me get back well again guys uh, this in uh, I kind of put put it in here for uh, Matthew. Uh, Matthew, uh, on this one, this is your exhaust brake. That right there, that little cylinder right there. Uh, you have to make sure that that little cylinder is not either stuck fully open or stuck at all. I mean, that one also has to function for you to be able to spool up on your turbos. That there. And then, of course, this one has to be free. It has to be able to move. Freely. It's a vacuum little diaphragm. Uh, make sure the diaphragm's okay. Maybe the little servos sending, getting the signal, opening the vacuum on it, but the little diaphragm could be busted. So I will check that little control valve, this diaphragm, and of course the exhaust brake down here. Uh, we've actually experienced some that actually sees get stuck. So, I mean, we have run into those problems today. You guys, like I said, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this uh, oil well off of the bus. I don't want it to fall off and damage, get damaged. I mean, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off here, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, like and subscribe.